We're back continuing our discussion with Mario Rodriguez, the executive director of Long Beach Airport. Who would have guessed that this young man is a award-winning aviation expert, uh, an engineering graduate of the University of Miami, an accomplished author and speaker on issues affecting the air industry. Uh, what was your book on? Uh, well, I'm there are several books. The last one I'm finalizing is Airport Financial Management and Privatization, a very, very boring textbook that'll earn me probably enough money to buy a Starbucks cup of coffee every so often. <laughs> but such is life. You learn a lot as you go through the process. Of what are the major the challenges facing the aircraft industry? You know, it's the same sort of challenge that, that they've had all, all along. It's really an unstable business. You're investing such a large amount of money into a business that gives you fractions of pennies per seat miles as profit. So you have billions of dollars invested. In other words, the last when um, Delta and Northwest merged, Delta had a debt had a debt of about twenty nine billion dollars. Northwest Airlines had twenty six billion. You put them together, the debt is the size of a national debt of a small Central American country. Yeah, you have two problem countries. You merge exactly. into one giant problem. Exactly. Yeah, that fixed the problem. Let's put all of this <laughs> debt together. I remember working on Wall Street. Uh, our investment banking mm -hmm. firm had several airlines as investment banking clients, including Pan Am. And I remember coming away with the conclusion that the airline industry is one, it's like the Roach Motel. Fleas check in and they don't check out. Money is always pouring in. They're always raising money. Yeah. And they never seem to see any profits because if it's, if it's either the uh, union problems, it's... Uh, increase in the price of fuel, mm. it's weather delays. There's always something that oh. stands between them and the holy grail of continued profitable oh, operations. Absolutely, but it, it, it's such an integral part of our economy. Oh, yeah. Last year, our industry, our domestic industry, moved three quarters of a billion passengers. Mm. Amazing. Without that, the United States doesn't exist as the United States. And we're so fortunate to have JetBlue as the major oh. carrier out of Long Beach yep. because their customer service ratings are up there in the high 90s and uh, uh, they do a wonderful job. JetBlue is one of the best airlines in the business. They treat their customers perfectly. They, they have very, very high ratings all the way through and wonderful service. I can't say enough good things about them. And I remember they did a study of what passengers disliked about flying and they came up with the realization that it was the loss of sense of control that you're in this sleek cylinder at 35,000 feet and you have no control. And their answer to that problem was to give the passenger a little bit of control, which was his own television set. And instead of having to watch someone else's movie, you could choose what you want. And that That's a brilliant became, move. It was a brilliant move, and people love it. They still love it. It's a brilliant yeah. move. You, yeah. could, you could watch TV. You could buy a movie. Yeah. Uh, you could have dinner and watch it. It's a brilliant move. They did a good job. So uh, you're moving to uh, Indianapolis, and the challenge there is to grow the complex. Well, it's, it's several challenges. One is to manage a multi-airport system yeah. because it has five airports and a heliport. They want to they wanna increase the economic impact of the airport. In order to increase the economic impact, you want to grow air service, you want to grow the development, the non-airline revenue. There's certain things, you, certain And components. just for the record, in Long Beach, because of uh, the settlement, we're capped at the number of flights we have, so there really is no room for... For, for major growth in the Long Beach Airport. Yeah, there's no there's no room for major growth at the airport, and um, it'll it, it. It is what it, it is. It is what now. it is. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back with the remaining portions of our show after these messages. Trainees mixes California style with continental cuisine that includes fresh seafood from around the world. Since Phil is the chef, the menu has a wide variety of pastas, salads, soups, and appetizers that feature his unique personal touch. And the Italian-American signature dishes are simply beyond delicious. 
You never know who you're going to run into at Trainees, from the famous sports legends on the Wall of Fame to local celebrities having a drink at the bar. For the best fine dining experience, visit Bill Trainees. At Performance Plus Tire, you'll find we carry Toyo tires. For over 50 years, Toyo has been a world leader in the development of high-quality tires. Optimum performance, safety, and a comfortable ride. That's what makes Toyo tires great. And now come into Performance Plus Tire for a great deal on these Toyo tires. Proxies ST, Open Country AT, and Proxies 4. Toyo tires, driven to perform. Come in today and we'll install new Toyo tires on your vehicle while you wait. Performance Plus Tire on Cherry Avenue, one mile north of the 405 in Long Beach. who are closest to you, from our family to yours. McCarty's Jewelry, since 1932. I want to improve my career opportunities. I want to earn a higher salary at my job. I'd like to finish what I started. The new Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts degree completion program at Cal State Long Beach will help you achieve your educational goals while keeping your life in balance. Contact our customer service center at 1-800-963-2250 for more information or visit us on the web. Let CSULB help you finish what you started. I think we're very fortunate to have had Mario Rodriguez as our airport executive director and he and his team just have done a remarkable job in making the Long Beach Airport nationally known, internationally known. Uh, and uh, creating such a wonderful user experience that reflects our city. So uh, a hearty well done, Mario, to, to you and your team. Thank you, Art. Thank you. We have a minute left. You can say whatever you want to our audience or to me or... It, it, it has been my honor to, to lead this wonderful team at the Long Beach Airport and to work with all of you, with you, Art, with the entire community and building your vision of what the airport should be when it grows up. It's grown up, you've got a, a beautiful entrance to this wonderful city, and uh, you know, I leave and I'm taking a big, big part of Long Beach with me. Nice. Well, thank you for listening to what the community wanted and then implementing it so creatively. Well, it's your, it's your airport, it's the community's airport, it should be a reflection of what you all want. And I think I speak for the whole community in wishing you uh, and your lovely wife continued success in your next professional adventure. Thank you very much, Art. Thank you very much. You bet. Thank you for joining us, and please be with us next week for the next edition of Straight Talk. Good night, everyone. Goodbye, my friend. All right. Straight Talk has been brought to you by the Port of Long Beach, the Press-Telegram, and Scan Health Plan. And remember... Straight Talk is viewable 24-7 at straighttalktv.com.